third control and risk assessment, ID RA3, threats, both internal and external, are identified and documented. This is where it's really key to have some type of risk register. And by having a risk register, you can simply meet this control by at least the documentation standpoint. The identification standpoint is a little tougher. Uh, my recommendation are to reach out to things, external sources, looking at external threats first. Uh, things like the Verizon data breach report. Yearly, this report comes out, outlines areas and threats to organizations by sector, healthcare, finance, manufacturing. These are key things for any organization inside of those sectors to really keep in mind and start figuring out, are these a threat to me? If they are, you're seeing them, or if they're not, at least documenting, bringing those things into a risk register so you can make your future risk-based decisions on that a little easier. For the internal threats to be identified and documented, this is really where we wanna start seeing some type of insider threat program. Now, I know a lot of organizations don't like to admit that sometimes employees can do bad things, but the reality of the situation is this is the case. This is what's happening today. It is unfortunate, but it's something that we need to address. So by identifying both the insider threats and the external threats to the organization based on information we have, we're able to start feeding that into some type of a risk register, documenting that information for future use. Remember, the entire risk assessment uh, set of controls is used to perform an actual risk assessment on the organization. So you should be asking yourself questions like, are potential security threats, vulnerabilities, and consequences identified, classified, prioritized, and analyzed using some type of an accepted methodology? For internal threats, such as vulnerabilities, you know, things to look at would be maybe Special Publication 800-40. This is uh, NIST's publication on how to build and create a vulnerability management program. Another question, again, back to insider threat is, does the organization implement an insider threat program that includes cross-discipline incident threat response team actions? So are you leveraging and having your HR team involved in this group? Are you having your legal team, right? This is no longer and should not be viewed as just purely an IT issue. You really need to have the entire team together to work on this. So these are areas that we need to be looking at, questions we should be asking our organization. And as CISOs and security practitioners and leaders, ID RA3 is a key example of one area that needs to be addressed within the risk assessment process.